Hey, fatty. High fat, zero carb diets blow. Blow. For long term weight loss results, they blow. Any diet that is based in willpower blows. Sucks. Okay, if your diet is based in willpower and not day to day, long term discipline, your diet sucks. And you will fail every time. Okay, why do you think I'm not promoting zero carb diets no more? Nobody can do them. Okay, the results are short-lived. Okay, don't cherry-pick your, your exception. Okay, yeah, there's exceptions out there. The exception's not the rule. Okay, fat people don't need to eat any fat. Low-fat dieting is where it's at. Low-fat is where it's at. Okay, like lean meat, lean meat, lean fish, lean steak, chicken breast, carbs. Carbs, vegetables, fruit, starch, vegetables. Like, it's so simple. Okay? A lot of reason people are whining and complaining about cutting fat out of the diet is because it holds them accountable to not eating any junk. Once fat is out of your diet, you can't eat any actual junk. Any junk that is high-calorie, fattening foods. Most people don't even know what a carbohydrate is anymore. Okay? They look at foods like the carbs are causing them the weight gain, and it's all the fat. Okay, all the dirty carbs, the fat latent carbs. You need to be eating fat free carbs. Fat free carbs will get you ripped. Lean meat and fat free carbs will get you ripped. And the sustainability is off the charts. Off the charts. Don't worry about one off examples of some guy. Some guy that's eating some higher fat diet and looks like he's getting results. Okay, it's not the general population. Why do you think I'm pushing this so hard? Because I know for most people, it's the best. Just cutting fat out of your diet. That will bring the calories down. That will bring the calories down. Because fat is full of calories. That will make your diet way cleaner. It'll build way better eating habits. Way more sustainability. Way more food volume. High volume, low calorie dieting is exactly what this is. Way more energy. Better well-being. This is how you literally cure depression. Okay, you cure depression with fat-free carbs. You cure depression with crazy energy and knocking the fat out of your diet. Okay, a zero-carb diet ain't going to cure anything. A zero-carb diet will make you depressed. I'll just be over here, like Eeyore, having my zero-carb. I'm on day 12. I'm on day 12. <laughs> when you got a guy over here that's doing a low-fat diet, high-carb, he doesn't even count the days. He's on, like, two years. Like... It's a joke. Look at the real results. Okay, way more people are ripped on a low-fat diet. Like, give me a break. Don't use your one-off example. Okay, one-off examples of people eating whatever it is. Cranking the coffee through the roof because their diet gives them no energy. They're training fast and they got to hammer the coffee back. Okay, you don't need coffee on this. This diet gives you crazy energy. Okay, now what do I eat in a day? Low fat, high carb. Okay, right now I have a breakfast that's straight carbs. Straight carbs. Okay, a couple cans of fruit and a can of starch. Okay, some vitamin C. Bit of baking soda before I eat the food. Liter of hot water, regular routine. Breakfast, energy out the ass all day. At night I go with a little bit lower carb meal. It's still lean, low fat. Peas and carrots. Okay, peas and carrots, mushrooms. My meat source, the lean meat. That's subject to change. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want when it comes to eating frequency and structure of the diet. Low fat is where it's at. People keep asking me, why am I promoting zero fat when I was just promoting high fat? 
because I realized that nobody could stick to a high fat, low carb diet. That's why. Is it any more complicated than that? Okay, I want the general population to get lean. I don't care about one off people. One off one in 10,000 people that actually need to do a strict ketogenic diet where they're actually in ketosis. Like I said before, I think on the last video, if you're doing a low carb diet and you're not in ketosis, that diet is absolutely useless. Okay, at least if you're in ketosis, therapeutical purposes, whatever. One in 10,000 people would have to do that. You need to cut fat out of your diet. You need to start looking at the labels on all these things that you think are you're fattening carbohydrates, which it's nonsense. It's all the fat in there. Look at the labels. Zero fat. Fat people do not need any dietary fat. Like, I said this how many times now? And I still got people being like, whoa, this guy is ripped and he eats more fat than you're saying. He's ripped, dummy. <laughs> he can do what he wants. Like, he's ripped. He can do what he wants. And he's probably got 20 million times more discipline than everybody I'm talking to in this video. Than the general population. He's got 20 times more discipline. 1,000 times more discipline. Okay, people that have crazy discipline can get lean on all sorts of different protocols. Doesn't matter. We're looking for the easiest protocol for the average fat peg. Which is cutting fat out of the diet. Just cut the fat out of the damn diet. Okay, it's insane. People keep making attempts on zero carb diets and they're counting the days to fail. Why does this be counting? How many days is it going to take me to fail this time? When you could just cut the fat out and live a normal life. Okay, get rid of your depression. Okay, this is a proven fact that sugar will drop cortisol. Okay, get rid of the stress. You won't need the coffee. Why do you think these people need all this coffee? Because their diet is mediocre. Just because a ripped guy is eating a diet doesn't mean it's a great diet. Okay, he's got crazy discipline. He could be relying on coffee and stimulants. Do you want to be relying on coffee your whole life? Screwing up your sleep? When you could just eat carbs and cut the fat to nothing? And get to an excellent body weight effortlessly. Have breakfast that's just a bunch of carbs. Not have to worry about fasted training. And using coffee as a tool to try to get through that. It's nonsense. The average fat pig just has to cut fat out of the diet. Until you are ripped. That fat intake could be zero. Like you've done 72 hour fast, five day fast, seven day fast, 30 day fast. There's no food there. Now fat is an issue. Again, I say this a million times now. Fat people, fat people. So don't come at me with some example, some guy that's ripped, that's doing some oddball diet. Fat people need zero fat in their diet. And most of the rip guys are still eating a low-fat diet. Okay? 99% of the ripped guys, the ripped natural guys on social media are eating a low-fat diet. Until you're ripped, the fat can be nothing. Whatever's in the lean meat source, and that's it. Then once you're ripped, even then the fat can be so low. So low. Okay, it never needs to be high ever. Unless it's a 1 in 10,000 therapeutical purpose with a strict ketogenic diet. Any other situation where you're eating a zero-carb diet, unless you're in ketosis, that diet is absolutely useless. Like, useless. Just cut the fat out of your diet. Every time you're looking at food, zero fat, zero fat. Don't worry about the sugar. Okay, but obviously if you're fat ass, don't be taking a bunch of liquid sugar sources. But the calories are still way lower. And you get way more energy. Energy matters. High energy. 
That's what fixes depression. High energy. That's what cures depression. See, that's what makes you want to go do stuff. Creating weight loss. Easiest diet. Easiest diet you could possibly do as a human being. Easiest diet you could possibly do as a human being. You can never run from carbs. Ever. But you can run from fat. You can run from fat. Fat is burned in the flame of carbohydrates. Let that sink in. Until next time, cut the fat on your diet, you fat pig, and stop eating.